Hi guys, what's up? Um, we are back with my mod showcase videos and today we are in the location of my super secret, super top secret evil British lab. Yes, it is so top secret, it is super duper top secret, you can't let them people know. Um, we do evil British things here because everybody knows British people, we're, we're all secretly super villains. Um, that is our that is our thing. So yes, you can't let anyone know where we are. But here we are doing some experiments today and the experiments are cloning myself because as my friends will say one of me is not enough you need multiple versions of me um yeah i'm sure they'll agree with that they totally won't say no one of me is enough um no they won't say that i i trust in them so let's go check out our lab this is gonna be awesome okay let's turn around here we go we've got some chambers here we've got the chests here and yeah we are doing the cloning mod today and this cloning mod is so good guys, it is it has become one of my favourite mods because I get to clone myself precisely and it looks amazing at the end of it. And you don't only, you can't, no, you not only can you clone yourself, uh, you can clone mobs as well, all different types of mobs. I haven't tried it with other mods installed, so like the Titans mod, I might give that a go, see if it's compatible, I doubt it will be, but... It's worth a shot. If it is, I will do a video on it. So that's how you're going to know about it. So let's get on with today's video. Actually, before we do that, if you guys could please go and subscribe. As of recording this video, I'm at 445 subs. Almost at 450. That is going to be an amazing goal for the channel, guys. So if you could please go do that. Oh, I accidentally broke a block. My bad. Um, yeah, if you could go do that, that would be a big help, guys. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, let's waste no further time. So, let I'm going to run you through how to make everything in this mod. Um, so you can clone yourself, so you don't get confused. Because some videos I've seen, they skip a few things. Hopefully, I'm not going to miss anything. If I do, I apologize now. So... Let's open the first chest. So, to get your DNA and to clone yourself, the first thing you're going to need are empty needles. Now, you need to make sure they say empty needles and not dirty needles, because we'll, we'll come to that later, but they, they need to say empty needles. So, this is the pattern you're going to need, and to create, I think it's just one needle, but we've got 64 here, so we're just going to take this anyway, we're going to gonna try we're going we're gonna craft them all I'm gonna run you through all the crafting okay so let's take it in here beautiful beautiful loving it and uh, boom needle um, there we go we're just gonna take a stack yeah fantastic oh gosh no it's all gonna do that isn't it uh, let's put pop that there cool so once you've got your needle you can then go and get human blood so to get human blood you're just gonna pretty much hit yourself um, let me change game mode because I want you guys to see the effects on me. So, you literally right click on yourself, boom. And as you see, some effects have just hit me. So, weakness, nausea, it, luckily, oh my goodness, no, whoa, wow, I look wickedy wickedy whacked. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out some milk to counteract this bad boy. As I can, I can fix myself, there we go, we are much better now, we look a lot healthier. Um, actually, I'm going to do that a few times. Let's, can I, more right clicking, there, there we go, there we go, let's see how many I can get, I want nine, there we, fantastic, we're going to need more milk, thank goodness I planned for this, guys, thank goodness I planned, um, that's thinking ahead for you, yeah, awesome, so, now I have human blood, um, we actually going to have to separate this blood out eventually, but, first off, it's got to be put into the empty test tube, and to make the test tubes, you have two ways to make the test tubes. This way only makes two or three test tubes. This way makes six test tubes. So if you don't need that many test tubes, you could just use the glass panes. Or if you need more than two or three, then you use the blocks. Okay, so let's get out the blocks. And yep, here we go, here we go, beautiful. And we're going to craft us some test tubes. Um, yep, yep. Here we go, here we go. Oh, maybe wrong way. Yep, there we go, C6. Okay, wicked. Um, so we're going to take those. And then after that, as you see here, I you craft them by... Yep, yeah, well, you know what, I'll just show you. I'm not going to run you through it, I'm going to show you. Okay, so if I pop that here and pop that there. There we go, we get human blood in a test tube. And you just keep clicking. Boom, lovely. And then from this, you get dirty needles. 
Um, you know what? I need more test tubes. Let's go back in this chest. Let's grab these guys. We're gonna we're gonna need more. Okay, I didn't didn't plan that through too well. So let's pop those back in there. Let's pop some test tubes here. And there we go. Eight. So I accidentally wasted one. Oh well, doesn't matter. So just to show you what happens with the dirty needles, here we go. We've got our dirty needles here. Um I've got something in this chest. Yes, the flint and steel. So now you have dirty needles in so you don't have to keep making and crafting needles um, you can actually sterilize them and that is these guys so these are sterilized bucket things and these are crafted by um, where is it so you got the iron you got the bucket in the middle and you got some redstone so three iron um, bucket redstone in the middle three on the other side that crafts a sterilizer um, and then you just fill them with normal water and then beneath, you put doo -doo -doo, some Neverack. So, some Neverack. I don't know why I pronounce it so weirdly. So, you set this off, and you literally, I'm going to get attacked by stuff, because it's becoming night. Let's change that, and let's change the weather, because I think it's actually the weather, and we don't want the weather to go off yet, um, because it's going to cause issues for us. So... You set that off, and hopefully that is all bubbling now. There we go. As you see, it's all bubbling. Oh, gosh, no, that's that's gone off. I did not want that to go off yet. That might cause issues. We'll see anyway. So, basically, you just need to get these needles and just throw them in. There we go. Throw them in. Lovely, lovely. Going to sterilize. And once they're sterilized, they're going to pop out lovely and clean. And you're going to do the same with the test tubes later on. So you don't have to keep crafting test tubes. But, I mean, I'd, oh, no, no. Bad electricity. Bad. Okay, yeah. I might need to destroy that. I, no, I can't, actually. Okay, so. Next on the list. So, once we've done that, we need to separate them out. So, where is it? Oh, yeah. I need to... Uh, we need the centrifuge. And the centrifuge is crafted with the pistons. Iron and diamond. So let me move all this over. We no longer need that. No longer need that. Um, let's see. Yep. Yep. Lovely. Here we go. Cool. 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 So let's craft this bad boy. And this guy is going to split um, or going to separate the human DNA out for us. And that's going to be able to make us or make us able to create humans. Our very own humans. So, okay. There we go. Let's, let's get these clean needles. Lovely. Fantastic. Lovely and clean. So let's go pop the centrifuge here. And then in we put the human. The human DNA. The human stuff. Whatever the hell you call. Oh, eight. Perfect. Didn't need nine. Don't know why I thought nine. Um, what have I forgot? I have forgot fuel. So let's go grab some fuel. Okay, here we go. Quick, quick detour to the fuel. Where is it? Where are you at fuel? Why have I forgot where, where fuel is? Why is this happening? Okay, there we go. Fantastic. So, in goes the fuel. So, coal, anything will do. Pop it in there. Hit spin. So, this has some absolutely wicked animation. Look at that. You move away. It shuts down. It's got a little spinny, fiery thing. I don't know. Move closer to it. It opens. And you can see the DNA all spinning around. All your blood getting separated out. It is really good animation. So, you just got to wait for a bit for that to finish spinning. It doesn't take too long, to be honest. We'll just we'll just chill. We'll wait a um, few seconds. I think it's slowing down now. Yep. Yeah. Is it is it slowing down? Oh no, maybe it's speeding back up. So here we go. We have all our lovely separated human blood. So let's get all this out now. Here we go. Beautiful. So we're just going to leave that there. It can be reused. You don't need to clean anything with that at all. So now we have separated human blood. Wicked and. We need to then pop that back into the needles. So here we go. Human DNA now. So you keep clicking, keep clicking, and then you get all the human DNA. Now is now we have the dirty test tubes. Oh, gosh. No. i uh, pick them back up. Yeah. Nailed it. Okay. So let's just throw these into the sterilizers, and we'll sterilize those because we'll want to reuse them eventually. Maybe not now. Maybe in the future. So that is important. So now we have our beautiful human day. DNA, um, the building blocks of humanity, of life, of everything. It's basically Jurassic Park. They should put dinosaurs in this. That has just occurred to me. That would be amazing. I'm not sure if that is a mod. If it is, someone let me know in the comments. I want to play that mod. 
Okay, so where are we at? We need some eggs. Where are the eggs? Here we go. We need to get some empty eggs. That's what we need to do. So you just get some normal eggs, take it to the crafting, pop them in, empty egg. Just keep clicking and get all the eggs. Beautiful, lovely. So now we can slap that in here and then we get unactivated human spawn egg. So let's get all of those bad boys. Pop that there. So there we go. We have our eight unactivated human spawn eggs. So it's going all pretty well so far. Everything's going fairly smoothly, I'd say. So the next stage is this stage. This is super, super cool. Okay, it is called the life inducer. And this is how the life inducer is built. It's got the three iron, gold at the top, soul sand, chest, and then three iron again the other side. So you build that. You can place it, you can pretty much put what you want around it, to be honest. I've done it like this to make it look fancy and cool. Um, yep, it's pretty, it's charged already. Didn't want that, I wanted to demonstrate that. And then you need antennas. So those antennas and conductors are reaching up to the sky because they've got to be struck by lightning. You could, They just need to be struck by lightning. And I'm going to change the weather in a minute uh, so they can get struck by lightning because that's what happened earlier and I got electrocuted. You saw nothing. So, yes, to build the antennas, um, this will give you nine antennas, is the three iron, three gold, three iron system. It's pretty simple, and there's nothing ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's not really at all, apart from, like, the one diamond. Um, rest is really pretty easy to do, and the benefits from doing this is amazing. So, you build them, you get them, you build them up, you can't stack them on top of each other, so if you build what I found, if you build a load of bricks up that side and then just place them next to each other, I might just demonstrate because it confused me at first. I was like, why can't I place them on top of each other? So let me get these out. Where is it? Some people might be thinking, oh, well, you know what? Common sense. But, you know what? I did not have that. So that's how to stack them. If you stack them like that, see, that happens. That is not good. So you're going to want to be aware of that. So let me pop these all back in there. Lovely. So, we are going to want to take our human unactivated spawn eggs. We're going to want to pop them in here. Here we go. There we go. So, they are becoming activated now. Did you see that? They are now all human spawn eggs. And, yep, yeah, we're going to discharge that safely. Are you sure? Yes. But I'm going to change the weather so you can see what it's like when it gets struck by lightning. Because that, that's probably the coolest thing, to be honest. Here we go, it's raining, we've got the life inducer, this is its normal state, N not moving at all, no electricity going round it, and yeah, then the thunder comes, you've got the antenna that are reaching high into the sky, there we go, boom, and it hits it, and now it's charged, easy, simple, doesn't take long, not too much effort in the slightest, if you're really playing hardcore and you, you want to wait till a thunder strikes, then, you know, that's a different thing. And this will just keep happening, and it will just keep charging up to about up here. Be careful, though. You have to discharge it safely, because if you don't, I'm not going to do it, because it will destroy everything around me. If you break this, it is going to cause a lot of damage to your surrounding area. It's going to be pretty bad. It's going to kill you if you're in survival. Don't do it. Um, yeah, so just be aware of that. And if this gets too charged up, the, electri the electrical bolts, as you see going around right now, see that? That's crazy. Uh, I'd recommend wearing diamond or leather boots to stop getting struck by lightning too much. Yep, so that is what I'd do if I was you guys. So, we're going to discharge that. We're going to change the weather back to clear. Because we don't want all the mobs to spawn in. No, no, stop. Stop it. Now we're going to have to discharge it again. Yeah, okay, nailed it. Let's get out all our human spawn eggs now. Fantastic. Didn't need to do them like that. That was pointless. Okay, let's change game mode because I want to do this in survival. Uh, do I? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, so this is the coolest bit, guys. We have done all our hard work. We've made the humans. Let's spawn them in. Okay, are we ready for our first me? Boom, here we go. Meant this. And I know what you're thinking, that's not you, uh, KD Minecraft Kieran, that's, that's not, doesn't look at a thing like you. Well, right click on this guy, you've got all these options down the side here. So if you go into options, and you type in your name, so my Minecraft name is KD Mortis, um, you hit that in, uh, done, 
And boom! It looks like me! It's me! It's a mini me! It's amazing! It's mini me! Love it! Look at this guy! Look at he's a little legend! So we're gonna we're gonna eventually spawn all of these in, but I'll just run you through this guy for now. Here we go. He's got well he's 10, 10 HP. So can grow up to 20. He will increase in size the more HP he gets. He will eventually get up to 20 and become full size. Um, you're supposedly got to feed them glistening melons, but it doesn't. You know, it didn't work for me when I tried it earlier, to be honest. So there's that. There is so much you can do with this guy, though. What? Well, you can make him sprint. It gives all you what it tells you. Makes the clones follow you. Yes, I want that on. It can pick up items when it walks around. And walk to items. So if it sees an item on the ground, it will walk to that item and pick it up for you. So if you drop something by accident, like I always drop my swords if you watched my earlier videos, always dropping them. This guy will go and pick it up for me. And he will actually equip it to himself. So he'll be holding a sword. But we'll cover that in a minute. So yeah, I'm going to keep that up. Guard position. Now this will keep him in place. So when you set this to the position, the clone. Look, here we go. There we go, he's stuck to that block. He's not going to move from that block. Let's change times quick. So, there we go. Um, what else can he do? He can do so much. He can break blocks for you. You can turn that on. Um, you can change between genders, which is cool, I guess. Um, if you want female clones of you, which I get, maybe. I don't know. Uh, smart memory off. This is a really good one. So, he remembers where he goes and different chests and other important places. Which I think is awesome. So you got that. He can farm. He can share items with other teammates. Because there's even teams in this mod, guys. It's that good. It's literally that good. Okay, so let's turn all this on. Uh, I want I want pretty much all of it on. Um, and then here is the team section. So at the moment, oh my goodness, rampant. The rampant team will attack everything, every clone, every entity, every player. Mental. That's not happening. My one is staying at good. He's a good dude. He's a helpful little guy. So... This now, if you go, well, let's go back a sec. So down here, we have entities to attack. So you can select either all. So it will select all mobs, everything, all animals. Look, it will highlight everything down here. So it would literally attack everything. Or it's, uh, you can just select mobs. So it will just attack the mobs, which is really, really good. So skeletons, creepers, was it just... Giants, zombies, slimes, ghasts, pigmen, all that good stuff. Or if you think actually I quite like mobs uh, for, for whatever reason, um, you can select just animals and it will attack just the animals. Here we go. Look at him. He's got aggro against animals for whatever reason. Don't know why he would, but hey ho. So let's clear that and let's select mobs because I want him to be attacking mobs. So the blocks to break section next. It, you can tell him exactly what blocks to break. So if he comes across a stone block, he'll go and break a stone block. Um, he'll just break all the stone blocks. So be be aware of that. If you select oak wood planks, he will destroy that house in seconds. He is a tank. Um, you can even do quick selects here. So if you want to say all the ores. So when you're mining, take take one of them with you. Select all the ores. Boom, goes to destroy all the ores. Or, if you want a guy, you can equip him with a pick with an axe. He can go chop down trees for you, gather a load of wood. Really useful, really good. It basically does all the farming and the mining for you. So you can just focus on the building and the creating side of things. Which is so good, I find that so useful to use. Okay, what else do we have down here? Yeah, you can pretty much tell him to break whatever. Here we go. You've got a search bar up here as well. So, what was it? Diamond. Here we go. Block of diamond. You get him to destroy all these stuff so take him mining he'll mine a diamond block for you so he is amazing look he's already growing you've got 12 hp mate he's grown a little bit um here we go you can tell him things to build i haven't quite taken a good look at that yet but there is a tool that you can use to get him to build things and yeah that is pretty amazing so what we are going to do now is we are going to equip this guy with some goodies so boom oh wow he's, he's growing fast you're growing fast little guy so yes um i'm gonna need to gather all these up together because i'm gonna spawn them in in a minute so you can equip him all with armor and weaponry so 
If you just drop it at him, oh no, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? Oh yeah, you're trying, you're trying to chase the items. Go on, go on, go pick it up, and he will just equip whatever the strongest item is. So actually, if I take, I'll pop that on him. I'll take that off. I'll grab this. I will pop this on him. Here we go. So you see, he's got a leather hat on. I've got the diamond helmet. I'm like, dude, I've got enough money. I can upgrade you to diamond. So I'm just going to drop that. What? Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. He will just automatically equip the highest um, armor set, which is amazing. So I'd love to try this with some other armors. I think that'd be awesome. Really equip this guy with like maybe the Titan armor. You could have invincible minion guys. These minions could be just invincible. You could have an army of them. Think about the possibilities. Just think about them. So I'm going to equip him with a sword as well. It does the same. You throw the sword at him. Actually, yeah. There we go. Go on, mate. Pick up the sword. Use the sword. There we go. Put it in his hotbar. He doesn't need that anymore. Lovely. Look at this guy. He is a tank. He is a machine. He is going to do some absolute boss things. So, I mean, just for the purpose of demonstration, we are going to put some bricks down. So I'm going to say, what do I want to say? I'm going to say lapis. So I'm going to pop some lapis down. I'm going to click on him. I'm going to say blocks to break lapis. Here we go. There we go. Lovely. Blocks to break. Yep. Yep. Back. Back. Go on. You're going to break blocks? What are you going to do? Blocks to break. I said lapis, mate. So if you, I figured out if you actually want him to get, get him to do the mining, you need to equip him with a pickaxe or at least just put it in his hotbar. And he will start mining away. Look at this guy go. He's a machine. And he will gather all this lapis up. He's going to go through, mine it all down. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely. And you see him switching between his pickaxe and his sword. And he's slowly, slowly gaining more health and leveling up. He's an amazing little dude. So I'm going to spawn in the rest of my little minions. And we're going to suit them up. So behind me, guys, I have spawned in all of them. I've set all their abilities to do what I need them to do. Attack the mobs and I've suited them up in armor as you see my main dude here my main head honcho He's like the second in command. He's like second to me. He's on 18 and he's almost at full height So he is growing and the others are growing quite rapidly as well and something else I just want to show you Yes, you can type in mobs and they become them like spider-man here So let me just show you demonstrate real quick because you guys are gonna be like oh man we should show this so if you go options here say or oh, Hulk is your favorite dude you like boom Hulk is pretty sick oh yes look we have Hulk and he will grow to full health and you can control the Hulk you can have all your heroes let's say another one let's do Batman let's see we've got Batman in the characters here we go boom don't know what Batman that is that looks more like an Iron Man I don't mm. You're, you're a weird looking Batman. Maybe you're Batman, future Batman? What is it? I don't know. You know what? Let's try Superman. Let's see if it, if it likes DC characters. Superman. Maybe it's because I've got cats on. Superman. Here we go. Lovely. Yeah, see, no, Superman's cool. Superman's got this. Wow, that is awesome. So, we've got some Marvel characters and DC characters. You can turn, you can do a big DC and Marvel fight. You can make teams. So, you can say, boom, team, red team. Yep, and boom, team, this orange team, there we go, they're going to fight to the death, let's see what happens, Hulk versus Superman, they're going to be very evenly matched, it's pretty much they're going to kill each other at the same time, I'm going to watch this out though, because I'm now interested in watching this fight, you could even get the superheroes mod in this, and you could put their own suits on them, that is genius Kieran, you're going to do that, I, I follow that first, no one take that, I'm actually probably going to try and do that now, oh my goodness, Hulk won, fair play mate, Oh man, fair, fair dues. You, you won. Okay, so I'm actually going to change the time. And I'm going to take my little army. We're going to go fight some peoples. Here we go. There we go. Time. Let's go, crew. Let's, let's roll out. Let's go mash up some mobs. So where, where are we going to find some mobs? You know what? Kieran's just going to spawn mobs in. That'll save time wandering around trying to find them. Okay, here we go. Let's go over here. I'm going to spawn in a hell of a ton of mobs. There we go. Let's spawn just a load of zombies. Let's do this. Let's see if my army of Kieran's can take this out. This is going to be amazing. This is this is like a dream come true right now. This is legit so cool. Oh, look at them go. Do not tell me they've already all died. Oh my goodness. Now, how many of them are there? How many of, how many came outside? Only like three of them. No. Where's big, where's big Kieran? 
Where's Big Kieran at? Oh my goodness, no, that's it. Kieran's jumping in. I'm helping out. I'm coming, guys. I've got your back. No, you're not dying on my watch. How many are dead? No, that's it. No, not today. Not today, fams. No, I've got your boy. I've got your boy. Here we go. Stay away from my Kieran's. Stay away. No! They all died. They're, they're dead. They're, they're dead. They died. I spawned too many. I spawned too many. Tell me. I think Big Kieran died. Man, that, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, let's see how many are in here chilling. Guys, where the hell were you? Not f you guys are useless. That's it. Spawning in here. That's it. We're going to see how this happens. You guys should have fought better. You let the other Kirans and Deadpools down. Oh, man. They're, they're together, though. They're a tank. So if you get an army of these guys, let them grow up to full health. This is going to be amazing. So, guys, we are going to leave it there for today, though. I really hope you enjoyed today's clone mod. Absolutely amazing. I hope you learn how to do it. And I hope you go and do it. Because it is so good to just mess around with. As you saw, the materials aren't that expensive and hard to get. So definitely worth doing it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And oh my goodness, did that guy just use an enderpearl? I think he did. What a boss. Anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Until next time, see ya.